All right, welcome to the channel. So today we're looking at the GoTrax GXL V2 electric scooter. Now we've got this on Amazon. I've had this about six months, so this is kind of like an update video as far as how have we liked it, you know, after six months of use, kind of what 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 our thoughts of it. And so I want to get into the review of this of this scooter. So for starters, uh, it has a range of about 9 to 12 miles. That's kind of the stated battery range, and I've experienced that. So range has been very good with this. Uh, it's gone the expected range. I've actually gone a 9-mile trip on this myself as an adult, and it still had one bar of battery life left, so it probably could have gone another mile or two. So I, I, I think the, the battery life is very good. Durability-wise, we've had no issues durability-wise. The thing's held up. We've actually put a lot of miles on this. Uh, used it very frequently over the summer through the fall and now we're getting into winter and we probably won't use it as much in winter time but my son's been taking this to school on a regular basis and so he's going you know a couple two three miles a day on this and it's it's held up really good uh, we like that that it has you know this bell on the on the handlebar that's really a cool feature the brakes work good they are a cable brake kind of like a uh, like a bicycle brake that you'd find on a it's not a hydraulic it's more a cable actuated brake uh, so you have to kind of you have to kind of keep up on the brake as far as adjusting the tension on there as the pads get worn down the you know the brake handle this brake handle actually probably needs to be adjusted because it it actually is almost going all the way to the handle grip so I need to pull some more cable through so that the brakes are a little tighter so that's that's probably just regular upkeep and maintenance um, one thing I was concerned about this model is that it has air filled tires now some models have solid core tires where they don't hold air so they will never deflate on you this does give, give a little more comfortable of a ride with those air filled tires and I was concerned well am I gonna get am I gonna get punctures or are they gonna go flat on me six months of use and we have a lot of like weeds that have like the really you know the spiky weeds that, that give flat tires and bikes and we've rid we've ridden this in the same places we've ridden our bikes and it's held up really well so I'm, I'm happy to say we haven't had any issue with the, with the tires deflating on us that's one concern with this because it doesn't look like it'd be that like it's gonna be that easy if we had to change you know go in and repair the tube or change the tube put a new tube in it might be a a little bit harder of a process with that with that smaller tire you know smaller diameter of tire so it's held up really good um, no issues or breaking parts nothing's you know the electronics have all worked great the battery charger has worked great as well um, it charges up really quickly as well so after a ride of probably you know five six miles it's half it's half battery life you know the battery's at half it'll charge up in you know three four hours or less so it really does a great job if you're going to use this to commute let's say you have to commute and uh, you know to, to work in the morning you've got to go three or four miles you can plug this on in at your desk and then you're, full, you're by the end of the day you're going to be you're going to have 100 percent charge again so uh that that that's kind of a that's kind of a nice feature that it it has a good range there are other ones now this is this is around 300 dollars. sometimes on amazon you can find it for less uh, you know you can find it between probably two you can probably find it between 250 to 300 dollars. that's kind of been the price uh fall of 2021 and that's about what we paid for it too and you know that's kind of a bud that's kind of the budget range of these of these scooters and this isn't one of the high budget ones i mean gotrax makes a 800 eight or nine hundred dollar one that goes you know 40 miles or something something crazy like that and 20 miles an hour this one goes top speed of 15 miles an hour so it's not super fast from my from my riding experience on it i i'm not i don't i don't ride it and feel like i ha i need i'm lacking speed I usually don't wear a helmet, so I probably should wear a helmet, but I don't wear a helmet. So really going like, you know, thir 13 to 15 miles an hour, that's really fast enough for my, for my preference, for, for my, my speed. Y you know, I also feel that like you're low enough to the, I also feel like you're low enough to the ground. When you're standing on this, you can really easily just put your feet back down and you're back on solid ground. Whereas on a bicycle, you know you're up higher and you could potentially fall over you know crashes could be more severe this because you're so close to the ground already that I, I feel a lot more confident and comfortable as far as the safety is concerned I don't, I don't feel like it's unsafe I don't feel like it's unstable I don't feel like I'm gonna crash so that's probably why I don't wear a helmet I probably should but it is a fun scooter to ride around I really enjoy it both both my, myself my wife we have four kids all my kids ride it except we have a five-year-old who he's probably too small for this but 
Um, my next youngest is, she's 10 and about 54 inches, and we'll have her come on and, and ride this in just a second. But So I would say for kids probably 9, nine and up, this would be a good scooter for them. Uh, I like the. We have another one. I like this one. I like this one a little more just because it has a little bit faster speed. But also the deck that you're standing on has has ample room for your feet. You know, if you're an adult and you have larger feet. I mean, I wear size 11 shoes. Uh, they fit on there well. I, I don't feel like my feet are cramped. I don't feel like I, I'm, you know, my feet are falling off. My, my feet fit on there pretty, pretty good. Usually I have the back one turned sideways. This one like facing, facing that way like, like that when I'm riding. But there is room to really put your feet on there and feel comfortable and stable. So it's got a nice wide deck. The cruise control feature I really like. So it does have cruise control. However, it's, it's sometimes hard to activate, and, and the reason why is because the cruise control, it has to stay at, a, at, at an exact speed for 10 seconds in order for the cruise control to be activated. So what that means, usually it only activates if I'm full throttle, all the way, if I'm all, pinning it all the way down and I'm on a flat surface and there's no change in elevation, it's just a flat, smooth surface, then the cruise control would activate. If you're going up hills, or if you let's say you want it to let's say you want to get uh, it to activate at like 10 miles an hour, you have to hold the the throttle like three fourths of the way down, and then hold it there, and it has to be the exact speed. Now this counts the miles per hours like a 10.1, 10.2, 10.3. So that 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 point whatever has to be the exact same. So if you're just a point you know whatever that is a tenth of a mile an hour off it won't activate so the the, the cruise control is a little is a little uh harder to activate but on those on those longer rides it's nice that it that it does activate when it's activated you just push the throttle back down and it will deactivate it or if you hit the brake it deactivates it so it is, it is nice it does save your thumb on those longer rides the the portability of this is really nice too. I feel like my kids my kids can pick this up and take it. So for example, we can fold this up. It folds up really easily. There's just a couple of there's just a couple of steps here. There's a little pin here. You pull the pin out, pull the pin and twist, so it stays out. And then this this bar right here on this one's red. You just pull it down. And. And it comes all the way down. It locks into this position right here, so the 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 handle or this uh, bar here locks into the to this rear fender, and really holds up pretty nicely. And you know, one hand I would say this is probably uh, I'll get you the exact weight, but it's manageable. A kid, you know, 12, 13 years old can pick this up easily. It's not it's not that big of a deal. And then to open it back up, you just push down the fender. Lift it back up like that. So that's nice. The one, the one probably complaint that I have, and this is not that, this is not that big of a deal. But you know, if we're looking at, if we're looking at kind of negatives here, um, I would say the light, the headlight on here. So the headlight, to turn on the scooter, you just hold down the red button here. Just hold it down for a couple seconds. The screen flashes on, and then to turn the light on, you just 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 one more press on the red button, so you can kind of see how the the light's on. Now this cable is kind of blocking a little bit of the light as well. It's not as bright as our other brand. We have a Segway brand that we have as well, and it's not as bright, uh, but it's really not that bad of a. It's not that big of a deal because when we're riding at night, we'll always throw one of these head these headlamps. You can just put on your head, and it's got more light anyways and when you have an adjustable one this one this one adjusts so the scooter's light will be shining in front of you here you can adjust this to go a little bit in front of that and then you have a bigger field of view more lighting area which really makes it nice because you can uh, really lights up so the solution to the poor light on the on the scooter is just you know one of these these are these are just a few bucks i'll leave a link in the description to not only the scooter but also these lights as well Okay, so we've talked about some of the features here. I want to talk about sizing of this. So uh, this is uh, this is my daughter. Uh, she's 54 inches tall and 10 years old now, right? 10 years old. So this is how a 10-year-old fits on this scooter. So stay on the scooter 
there, Taylor. So if you see here, she fits really well on here. Uh, handlebars are comfortable height. Uh, do you feel like this is a comfortable scooter for you to ride on? Yeah, it's pretty easy, right? Is it very hard? Mm. Pretty easy to ride. So even like someone who's, you know, nine, uh, eight, eight, eight and older could probably ride this pretty comfortably. You can see here her arms are, you know, pretty comfortable uh, level there. Let's take it out and uh, do some riding and show, uh, show how easy it is to ride this. Okay, so on this scooter, you have to kind of pedal it first before you can actually start going. So why don't you start going? Okay, so you got to go about that fast and then you can start. Okay, guys, well, that's just, that was just kind of a quick little ride around the block, but uh, we're really happy with this scooter. If you're considering one of these, I'd rec I'd re I highly recommend this one in particular has worked out really well for us. We're, I'm really glad we got it. Everyone in our family loves riding it. It's held up great. Durability-wise, it's been great. No issues at all. Electronics, the battery charger, everything's worked good. Hopefully, it continues to, to, to stay like that. We hope that we have good success with it. Uh, we'll kind of update the, do additional videos if needed along the way. Uh, but see the link down in the, the description. We'll leave a link to this, uh, the other, uh, the headlight as well, just so you kind of have uh, access to that. Uh, but anyways, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you in the next one.